U.S. ships have launched a fresh barrage of cruise missiles targeted at missile storage facilities around Tripoli. Defense sources say it's the most missiles launched in several days, bringing the total number to well over 200 since military action began more than a week ago. At the same time, world leaders met in London to discuss the Libyan situation. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and others met with leaders of the rebels seeking to oust leader Muammar Gaddafi. But there are suggestions that the U.N.-led coalition is holding back from putting its entire weight behind the rebel forces. We have not made any decision about uh, arming the rebels or uh, providing any arms transfers. Clinton also refused to provide a timeline for Gaddafi to give up power, as President Barack Obama and others have insisted he must. He will have to uh, make a decision, and that decision, uh, so far as uh, we're aware, has not yet been made. On the ground, rebel fighters retreated from their attempted march towards Sirte, Gaddafi's hometown. They did so after government forces launched rockets and aimed tank fire at them. Rebel forces had been on the brink of a defeat by government forces when a U.N.-mandated no-fly zone and campaign of strikes started. It's unclear if international support exists to deepen the air campaign and attack Gaddafi's heavy weaponry enough to help the rebels make further advances. The rebels remain outgunned, though they do show some improvements since a week ago. They have more ammunition and heavy weapons that they've captured from government forces. They're also getting better at using them. But that may not be enough to defeat Gaddafi's most entrenched forces. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.